Unlike their counterparts in the East, the Western Conference competitors may be considered a bunch of choir boys. Sure, there have been flare-ups now and then, a ball to the face, a grab or two, the occasional hard foul, which the victim even dismisses, while delivering a backhanded blow of the verbal kind to the assailant. To me, it wasn't, a, it wasn't necessary. I think he did that out of frustration. And I said before, you don't know a winner when it's winning. You only know a winner when it's losing. That's the difference. You know, if somebody cannot take a loss and they cannot act professional, then you know, it says a lot about the person. Ouch. Most of the agitators who did resort to aggression have been dismissed, not for dirty deeds, but for losing despite them. There is one exception, though. The volatile Vernon Maxwell is still around and kicking and testing his coach's patience. Well, it aggravates the hell out of me, you know, and uh, I think we're going to learn as, as time goes on that those things don't matter that much. I've been dealing with it every single game, and it was a big, it was a possibility in that last game because of the personalities involved, and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to keep working on it until we get it right. I have to go out and play my game the way I've been. You know, I grew up playing, and uh, that's why I play with a lot of emotion and aggression, and uh, so I have to play if I don't and take away from my game. That is, if Maxwell is still in the game. Fortunately for him, the league doesn't fine or suspend when the excessive force is directed at a television technician who happened to mutter the wrong thing on Max's way to an early shower. totaled, players in the East have had to shell out $287,000 in fines for misbehaving. In the West, it's just a mere 17 grand. Perhaps from this, one can gather that there is a hefty price to pay to play in the black and blue Eastern Conference, both monetarily and physically. You know, those rivalries, they, uh, they bring out the, the worst, and I think players, you know, they read the papers. Down to is being smart, or is it being coy? It's something that you cannot coach. It's an art where you have to realize how far you can go, how far you can push. Don't get to the point where you cross the line. So you, you, have to, you can play very tough, very competitive, but don't cross the line. Make sure you stay in the game. That is assuming staying in the game is your primary goal, and leaving the head of your opponent attached to his body is also of importance. In Houston, Pam Oliver.